Populism is a sort of the politics. And some of the politics are trying to, to persuade the people that institutions are bad. I'm not saying that institutions in every country is perfect. But in many countries there is a question of perception. And when it's a question of the perception, then we need to see what are the real reasons why that perception is so bad. Is it the real work that is bad? Or if it's perception that is created by the politics? Because in some countries that is the case. In these matters, regardless what is the result or what is the reason of the perception or the mistrust in the institution, the, the key point is to follow the standards. Next week, the Council of Europe will organize, together with the Croatian Chairmanship of the Committee of Ministers, a high-level conference in Šibenik, Croatia, on the fight against corruption. It will be a truly global event, with high-level participants from all over the world. The conference will be opened by the Croatian Prime Minister and the President of the Assembly and the Secretary General of the Council of Europe will also speak. Transparency and prevention of corruption will be the key issues addressed at the conference. The role of free and independent media in preventing and fighting corruption is essential and it is significant that the conference takes place virtually to the day one year after the tragic murder of Daphne Garana Galizia in Malta. Besides Daphne, other journalists investigating corruption have also been murdered in Europe and it is therefore essential that we step up the fight against organized crime and corruption and that we enable our journalists to do their work unhindered and free from fear. In addition to the role of the media, the conference will look at the role of national anti-corruption agencies. We will look at best practices from Council of Europe member states, but also from abroad. Guests from Hong Kong and Canada will illustrate how they fight corruption. We are sure that this conference will be able to because of its global nature, make a difference and help us to be more efficient and more effective in fighting this cancer of society. I look forward to the deliberations, which you can follow on social media and on live stream. One of the focuses of this important conference is the role of investigative journalism in fight against corruption. Indeed, investigative journalism has a pivotal role in unveiling corruptive practices and ensuring responsible and transparent operation of the state, as well as that of private actors. However, it is important that its quest for truth and justice also enjoys the trust of the public whom it serves. To that end, media's own ownership structures and um, funding must be known to the public. Today, media found themselves uh, under a growing political and economic pressure, uh, which impedes on their ability to perform their mission. So the time has come for investigative journalism to be recognized as a public good and for some corrective measures to be put in place uh, to ensure its future. The second panel of the conference will focus on the issue of grand corruption. Uh, grand corruption, uh, abuse of power uh, involving uh, top level officials is particularly dangerous for its widespread harm on our societies. The grand corruption captures the state and its institutions for the benefit of the few at the expense of all the others. Public resources are misused for vested, narrow interests and the institutions are hijacked to serve these interests. What is particularly difficult is to detect, prevent, investigate and prosecute grand corruption, to get convictions for grand corruption. The Greco fifth evaluation round, which is ongoing, focuses on strengthening preventive capacities uh, to prevent grand corruption to happen, to deal effectively with situations of conflict of interest involving top-level uh, executive functions, ministers, executive uh, secretaries, state secretaries um, and uh, uh, presidents with, with executive capacities, 
to deal with their conflicts of interest before uh, they become uh, corruption. The previous, the, uh, the IQ of the previous fourth evaluation round is particularly important in, in this respect. The grand corruption will become increasingly uh, a priority in the years to come because of its detrimental effect on uh, the rule of law and human rights. We are very happy that Transparency International that had worked on the matter will be part of our discussions. Last but not least, this conference will focus on strengthening cooperation amongst the national anti-corruption authorities. Um, they have a key role to play in uh, preventing and combating corruption, in increasing transparency, and therefore uh, their cooperation is essential uh, to achieve uh, our collective goals. Uh, at this conference, the national anti-corruption authorities will sign a protocol that will allow them to exchange information at an international level on specific cases. This is really a, a very important step forward uh, in allowing them to tackle more effectively cases that have an international dimension. This is the last uh, topic of this conference and we uh, look forward to having all of you uh, in Shibering, either in person or to follow it live on our streaming on our website. Thank you very much. Thank you.